Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is gonna to be super fun. Um, the rest of this weekend, actually, this is all compiled into one video. Uh, I'm going out to Anza Borrego Desert State Park. We're gonna be camping probably in a couple different places and just uh, kind of having fun. Gonna take it a little easier this weekend. My wheel bearing is not having it and my U-joints are not having it. So, uh, or my U-joint, I should say. But I gotta run to work right now. I got a couple obligations to take care of. I'm actually gonna pick up this video when I'm on my way and leaving. I just kinda wanted to give an intro to the video. All right, finally, I'm back. So, um, I just finished packing everything up. Kinda give you guys like a little show of what I packed. Um, we got water. This is an air compressor for a buddy. Sleeping bag. Two boxes back there that just have like camping and miscellaneous stuff. Um, this is just on like a little piece of wood. So if I use two hands like this, I can pull this out. Of course, nothing's in the right place right now, but then I have access to this and then I'll slide it back. Um, it just makes it a little easier. I feel like being able to just pull this out. Also the drain plugs on this side, because I don't know why, but this is a lifetime cooler and it loves leaking. Um, I put a little Teflon tape on the edge of it this time to see if that'll help out with it, but I completely doubt it. But other than that, it's pretty simple. It's just a simple setup. I like keeping the back. Oh, I also got a new shelf. Um, this is just temporary. And then uh, those are new too. But um, the back, I like keeping it super simple. I just have tools. I have my backpack right there. And then uh, another cool box right there that you'll see later. But other than that, super, super simple setup. Um, I could put more stuff in here, but my truck already weighs so much and adding any more weight is just going to make it 10 times worse. So this is good enough for me. I'm about to hit the road. So let's do that. Just putting along. We're doing 64 probably. I don't know however fast that is, but it's such a pretty view. Just love going by San Diego. It's amazing seeing how beautiful it is. I just park myself in this slow lane and that's all I need is just, just slowly making my way across. I know. All right, we uh we made it out. We're in, in Anza finally. It's pretty dark. We got Mark here. What's up? We have uh, all the trucks set up. It's super dark, but uh, he has his tent and everything. I'll pick this up once the sun comes out tomorrow morning. Peace out. All right, it's the next morning. It's not a rough night. Definitely windy. Um, we're uh, all set up here. Trying to get some food. All right, it's the next day. We uh, we actually had a ton of fun this morning as we were crossing from uh, Ario Salado area to Fish Creek. Um, and then we're going down Fish Creek. I decided to go a little too fast. And uh, let's see if I can capture this. But as you can tell, that's just a little bit bent. We bought eight bundles of firewood though. So yeah, we got eight <laughs> bundles of firewood. We have uh, a lot of beer. So, you know, things couldn't be too bad. It's a nice camp spot. This is Fish Creek Campground. Um, a lot of friendly faces around. Everybody kind of just wants to, like, talk, I guess. And by that, I mean just mean the old guy that's next to us. <laughs> yeah, you told us if, if you want to zoom in over there. You told us there's a train over there. We don't know yeah. where. We don't know where the train is, but... Don't talk too loud. You might kill us. Well, the microphone's going to pick it up. But uh, <laughs> I think uh, 
I think the goal is we need to um we're gonna make two trucks into one yeah and so leave one truck and then go do the trail because spitters are quitters exactly so this truck's gonna stay here I'm gonna take out all my photography equipment and everything put it into uh, Mark's truck and then uh, we're gonna head out right after that um, there's nothing we can do with my truck right now it's broken uh, the upper control arm is actually rubbing the tire so it's gonna be hard to show but um if you can kind of get a glimpse of what's happening here we're uh not doing too well so the good news is i have AAA. bad news is i have only 100 miles that i can get towed and we're 156 huh you can upgrade it yeah maybe upgrade it for a month and then have them just tow your ass yeah just take me back home and that's it but other than that we're set up for tonight we'll figure it out in the morning let's go have some fun right now No, almost. Three wheel. Is that the narrow spot? Right here? Yeah, no, it? the last one was. No, the spot that we came through. No, I meant like by the walls. Was that the closest it gets or is it? Yeah. Really? Probably. I don't think it gets any closer. It's been like two years. I've seen like videos and people are just like fucking like. Is that not narrow enough for you? I thought it was like straight up walls. That's what I always thought. Dude. Maybe up an, here. I think I, I feel like a night shot. Is like, <laughs> oh, what the f Bro. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yummy. Oh, I got room to the left. Still in two wheel drive. Plenty of room. Looks alright. What you want me to do for YouTube? Not really. I mean, it's a little tight. What do you think? Yeah, it's definitely tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you're wondering what the back of sandstone canyon looks like once you pass the first setup um which is the tight left turn with rocks it kind of looks like this where it becomes a little more difficult to get in and i don't think it's worth it it only gets worse up there i'm pretty sure yeah i say we go back and then we we go uh, the other way down the fork and see what's over there just all right out of curiosity while we, can... away. while we have light i don't mind coming back while it's dark. that quick fork that was up there? Yeah. Okay. So, that's what we did. Alright, then you're just gonna come straight. Let the slider do it. Alright. Come straight. Wheel straight. A little bit passenger. Alright. Straight. A little driver. A little more driver, straight. Something rough. I heard it. Like... Yeah, buddy. You. So the spot that broke the truck is this right there. Um, you can see that divot right there, and then there's a second jump right there. So, yeah, that's what screwed it up. And we're just going around it this time. None of that anymore. Not even know that came with it. Oh, wrong side. Wrong side, bud. Ugh. 
so we got back to camp. Um, truck is still broken. <laughs> but we went all the way through Sandstone. It was super fun getting all the way back there. Um, do you think it was easy or hard? <sighs> Only that one section where it's on film. Oh, yeah. And other than that, it's super, super mellow. Um, this part wasn't even that hard. I mean, as long as you have eyes outside the car, I would not have done that without a spotter. That's true. It was just, you're close to getting your front bumper hit, and then same with your right bedside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was hot. Here we go. We're getting uh, the burger set up right here. We got the fire going. We went and bought eight bundles of firewood. It's a lot plenty. <laughs> Yeah. Tonight we'll have too much. Yesterday we didn't have enough. Yeah. So tonight seems like it's going to be the nice night. Yeah, I, I saw the bundles of firewood yesterday and I was like, man, I should probably buy like some just in case. And then they didn't and then I should have. And then now we have a huge fire and like six more bundles over there. They were all set. Day two. Um, the truck is still broken. <laughs> no surprise there. But we have fire going. Take a look at this fire breakfast we're cooking up here. We got bacon. Um, we got bacon. eggs and bacon. And English muffins. Some pepper jack cheese. Should be good. Um, goal is to uh, just tow the truck from Fish Creek. Um, since there's more light out now than there was earlier, I'll show it one more time so you can kind of get an idea. What's happening? I don't know much you get. But, um, yeah, I'm on it. But yeah, that's what i uh, dealing with. We'll see how it goes. I'll pick this up once I get a the truck either on the trailer or limp it to El Cajon where there's a buddy who might be able to help out. The biggest issue is that it rubs upper control arm. So if I go any turn past, I don't know, turning left or right in general, it's just gonna start rubbing the upper control arm. And once it starts doing that, it's just eating my tire alive. Um, another huge issue that I'm running into is I don't know if it's wheel bearing or hub related or if it's just a bent spindle. I can't really tell which one it is at the moment. So if it's one of those, if it's a wheel bearing or a hub and it fails on me while I'm dry, driving it or trying to limp it home, that could be something catastrophic. Like I don't want my wheel falling off while I'm driving. Or if it's something just like a bent spindle, I can still drive and that's fine, but um, it's not gonna get any worse. So right now I'm just trying to get back to the front of Fish Creek and then I'm gonna really start taking a look at it and seeing what are the possible causes, if it's something that I can fix right now and get back on the road, or if it's something where I need to get it in the triple A range and then uh, call a tow truck and take it back home. So we had the truck back up in the air. Um, we tried adjusting camber bolts again. Camber bolts didn't do anything. Uh, messed with everything on the lower control arm, that didn't do anything. So right now we're guessing it's a bent spindle and that's kind of our uh, only hope. If it's anything else like wheel bearing or hub related, um, we don't know right now. So I guess uh, just gonna have to wait to see what it really is. Um, I'm gonna try replacing the spindle first, then lower control arm and then hub assembly if it's not fixed after that. Buddy met me, his name's Shane, he's super rad. Uh, he's, uh, he's the one who installed my shock relocation in the back and now he's out here helping me out. So um, the plan right now is hoping that it is the spindle. They have a pair of stock spindles, um, and by they, I mean him and his trail buddy. So they have a pair of stock spindles that they're going to let me put on in hopes that that is it. And wow, that is bright. Okay. And uh, in return, I'm gonna buy them a another spindle so they can have one back. All right, so. Everything's taken apart right now. We're guessing that this spindle is bent right here. That's what's causing the issue. Um, so we're waiting to get uh, the socket to get this hub off. Um, we'll pull the rotor and everything out. The tie rods are already disconnected. Spindle up here is, uh, we broke it loose. So 
Um, we should be back on the road pretty soon. Uh, Shane's helping out. What's up, guys? <laughs> so, do you want to explain your thought process on why you think it's a spindle? Because they're known for spindles going bad. Okay. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, like we, I showed you the difference between the, the amount of room that you had, the clearance that you had on the passenger and the driver's side. Um, it, that would be the logical conclusion. Okay. Um, at this point, it's trial and error until we, we kind of figure it out. All right, so we finally got the spindle off. This is the old one. And uh, this is the new one. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any way to tell, but um, old one's completely bent. New one's good. So we just got to put that back in. It like this and just being like... Don't let them make fun of you, dude. <laughs> okay. Is it rolling? Huh? Is it rolling? Yeah, it's rolling. All right, so what we ended up doing is we took the spindle out. We took the seal out that's in the spindle. Um, we actually replaced... Uh, the entire spindle hub assembly with one that was not broken or not bent i should say um reconnected it inside to the hub which has the wheel bearing inside bolted that back up um cv axle went back inside uh redid the ball joint and then next up we just have to get the rotor back on we have to get the brakes back on and then put the tire on and see how it does so um we'll definitely see where it's going from here so far it's looking good and it's funny because Everybody's trying to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all watching me. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're at right now. This is probably the wrong way to do this. But it's how to break your back. I'm a professional. I think the All right. So as you can see, it is fixed. Um, for now, it still needs an alignment, but it's good to go. So. That's that. Cheers. All right, uh, we are back on the road. It feels amazing um, that everything was able to get fixed. Uh, the spindle was indeed bent. Uh, Shane, thank you so much for letting me work at your or er, help me out. Mike, thank you for letting me work at your place. If you see this video, a uh, huge thank you to everybody who came out, supported, lended a hand, and brought parts. Um, it really helped me get back on the road and get back home and uh, I can't appreciate uh, or I couldn't thank the community enough for helping out. So this is going to end the video here. It did not go as planned, but I do have another trip that's coming up at the end of this month and that's going to be back towards Anza Borrego. So until then, I think I'm going to take it a little easy, worry about maintenance and uh, maybe pick up another couple shifts at work so I'm able to make a couple more dollars and use those dollars to uh, do more maintenance stuff. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, if you are interested in these kind of videos, so far I'm not doing as good of a job as I wish I was, but if you're interested, please hit subscribe. Uh, please hit the like button. Everything really helps me out. Feedback is so much appreciated. I appreciate every single comment and uh, idea or opinion that's given to me. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.